Hey everyone, so I know I'm looking a little under the weather and that's because I am under the weather, but I did want to get up a short video with the new Tom Ford Slim Lip Color Shine lipsticks. I did pick up six of them. I have swatches over on Instagram, hand swatches, so you can see the shades. I will swatch them here as well, but I'm gonna put them on my lips so you can really see what they look like. Now, this is my natural lip color my lips do not have a lot of pigment in them. I'm also a little sick, maybe a lot sick, but a little sick. And my face probably does look a little paler than it normally does. I did put on makeup. I do have on bronzer, believe it or not, and blush and highlighter and some eye makeup. But when you're sick, there's only so much you can do. But I do want to put the lip swatches on because I really feel that lipstick is one of those things that when you put it on your hands or your arm or wherever else, I think, yes, it you get a an idea of the shades, you get an idea of the colors, but on your lips is where you really have to see a, a shade. So let me talk about the product, compare it to a couple of other products, and then we will put them on the lips. Okay, so first of all, what are these? So these are the Tom Ford Slim Lip Color Shines. They are 0 0.03 ounces. Let me say again, 0 0.03 ounces. It's important to keep that in mind as we're talking about these. Now, I think there's 10 shades. I'll make sure when I edit the video, if my brain decides to work. Sorry, there are 10, I think there are 10 shades. So I picked up six. The shades that I picked up were not, <laughs> I meant to pick up different shades. I meant to pick up one different shade and it turns out really not through any fault of the person, but one of the shades that he gave me was wrong, but that's okay. It's not a bad shade and it'll make it work. So we have shade 100. We have shade 151, which is considered iconic nude. We have, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot 150. 150, which is considered open back. I'll go in the number, I'll go up to, as the numbers go, see? 152, rose corset. 154, which is first look. And then 156, which is final bow. Shade 100 is a shade that's existed before. Open back, iconic nude. Rose corset, first look, and final bow. First look, I feel like that name, I have to go back through my Tom Fords, but I feel like that name has been used before, but maybe not. Iconic nude, the same thing. Open back is vaguely familiar. Rose corset and final bow do not seem familiar to me, but I will go in and try to double check and I will check with my Tom Ford person. So when this video goes up, I'll put down below which ones are brand new names, colors, all that good stuff. So those are the, the six shades that I picked up. They represent a number of different shades from very pretty light to, to pretty deep. In comparison, I wanted to talk about two other lipsticks that I thought might make sense. The first is the Chanel Rouge Allure L'Estre. This is a refillable lipstick and it has and I'm gonna show you the components in just a minute. It has 0 0.07 ounces. So more than twice the amount of lipstick. And they are refillable, which these don't seem to be. I'm, I'm looking at them, there's nothing that says they're refillable. I've tried to pull them apart. They don't seem to be something that I could pull apart. Um, so not refillable. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury, which are the Superstar Lips lipstick, which are also the thin lipsticks, they are point three, five ounces. So literally, um, if you're looking at the Tom Ford's 10 times more and of the Chanel, we've got almost five times. Yeah. Five times more because they're, wait a second. What did I say? Zero seven. Yeah. Five times more. That's the right math. Yeah. So five times more again, which I think is interesting because I was like, I didn't realize it was that much more product. I'm gonna look at the components. I'm gonna show you the differences. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury. Comes in a thin um, tube like this. It's got that gold. I think some of them have like pink or gold, um, but you know, generally for gold, that's what they look like. And that is it fully up. Now I have used this one a little bit. Again, this is 0.35 ounces. This sells for $35. Now we have the Chanel. And like I said, this is a refillable compact. It's got the, what I call the pop tops. This is what I call them. The thing about this one is that once you take it out of the case, there, the case itself doesn't have a name on it because it's refillable. So the name is on the side of the bullet 
after you pull it out, and it's in gold, so you won't be able to see it on, on camera. But the thing is, so when you just have it like this, I can't tell what color this is. I have no idea. Literally, I have to take the refill out, pop and look at it and pop it back in. And then when I put it in the case, I'm like, I look at the bottom of the case trying to figure out what it is. And I can't tell. There's no name on it because again, they're refillable. I understand, but I still, and I, they have the CCs on the bottom because they're the pop tops. I wish there was something on here, like a number, just something to indicate while you're holding it, what it is, but there isn't. All right. So this is, and I'm going to pull this one all the way up. This is 0.07. Those look the same to me. I don't understand how hers are 0.35. That's what it says on the packaging. They look exactly the same. But that's what it says. Maybe I used up a lot of it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> but anyway, Chanel is 0 0.07. This says it's 0.35. I'm looking at it right now. 0.35. I don't know. I think that's 0 0.035. Anyway. That's what those two look, okay? And this one, the Chanel Lustre, I wanna make sure I get the prices right. The uh, price of this is $56. I just used a lot more of that Charlotte Tilbury than I thought I did. All right, so let's take the Tom Fords. Now the Tom Fords, and I wanna show it to you closed, in comparison, are incredibly long. <laughs> Ridiculously long. Super long. And, super thin. If you notice, the Chanel's are basically the same size of, as a Chanel lipstick. The, the packaging, the way it works is when you pop it open, it's the, the bottom is still the same size as a lipstick basically. And then you've got the thinner core here. And then on the Charlotte Tilbury, it's thin, but it's round and thin. This one is even, even smaller and much, much longer. Now, if you're talking about someone who has like a micro bag or a mini bag, a small little bag, there's a possibility that this won't fit in it. I don't have any of those bags. I, as just somebody who, I have a bag collection. Yes, I am going to do a video, I promise. But my bag collection does not include anything that's so small that it wouldn't fit this. This would fit into every single one of my bags, I checked. But if you have a really tiny bag, like a really tiny bag, I guess it's a possibility because... It's a lot longer than a regular lipstick. And when you look at it, the bullet is much smaller than even these thin bullets. So it's really, it's really small. And this is what 0 0.03 looks like. Now, remember, it's also a thinner bullet by a lot. The radius on this is much smaller circumference on this is much smaller okay you can see the difference how much bigger this is twice the size the chanel and i'm just going to use the chanel for comparison because charlotte tilbury is telling me it's 0.35 but it looks the same as the chanel so maybe i used up a lot of it but i think the point is made that these tom fords are a very small amount of lipstick and the price tag attached is $50. But yes, the Chanel is more expensive at 56, but it's literally twice as much, a little more than twice as much. I want to lead with that because I don't, I want to be very clear before I get to my review about these, the fact that these are incredibly expensive for what they are because you're not, you're paying a premium for it being Tom Ford and you're paying a premium for the look of it because it looks cool. Kind of looks like a pen. Now it looks cool to me. Other people might hate the look. So I'm going to start and go 100, 150, 151, 152, 154, 156. I have them on my lips so you can see each one. I'm going to clean my lips in between each one, but you won't see that of course on, on film. And then I will talk about my thoughts on these, my favorite color and all that good stuff. Hey, yeah. Thought that I'd be healing now I didn't think I'd have to feel this now I thought I would have moved on But somehow the feeling's still strong Like I'll be on my way out Thinking that I'm good right Suddenly you pass by Now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now But I guess I'll never be tired yeah, yeah. Of you yeah. Know that I'm gonna decline your calls, right? Calls, right? But I know that when I get home, I'm checking my phone.
wanna see what you want, see what you wrote, cause I wanna know Yeah, I'll be on my way out thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by, now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now, but I guess I'll never be tired Of you, 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 you. So tell me why I get this feeling out Oh, tell me why I get this feeling out Been a couple years that I've been healing out Been a couple years, been a couple years that, that I've been healing now I really didn't think I'd have to feel this now Oh, like I'll be on my way out Thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by now Those were all the shades that I picked up. So this last one, 156, Final Bow, was not the shade that I intended to pick up. I intended to pick up 155, which is a reddish brown, reddish orangey brown, which I think I would have really loved. And we'll probably buy, actually, which tells you a little bit how I feel about these lipsticks. But I ended up getting this 156 through an accident. It's fine, actually, because it's a very pretty red. It's a little cool leaning for me, but I think it is brightening. It's not a shade I would very, wear very often, but because there's so little lipstick in here, I think I might actually make my way through them. So let me talk a little bit about the product. So like I said, they're the Slim Lip Colors. They are $50. They are a limited edition pigmented lipstick, undiluted, paint and polished glamour in a stiletto slim case. And they're very much that, a stiletto. Lip color is formulated with a unique combination of waxes and a rich emollient, creates silky texture that glides, leaving a cushiony film of pure color with extreme comfort. Paraben-free, falfate, falfalate, I can't even speak today. Anyway, it's got a lot of, it's got sulfate-free, silicone-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, formaldehyde-free, blah, 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 drying alcohol-free, I guess, talc-free, made in Italy. Now, here's the thing. They are $50 for 0.03 ounces of lipstick. Again, that is not a lot of lipstick. And if you're talking about price per wear or price per ounce or any of that, this is probably the least reasonable product to buy if you're looking at lipsticks. However, if you are me and you are the person who does not like a buffet because you never finish anything, 
if you are the person who, when you went to get, and I, they don't exist anymore, I don't drink Frappuccinos, I don't drink coffee, but there were a couple of Frappuccinos that I wanted to try at Starbucks and they had this really tiny size. And I loved the tiny size because the tiny size I have two or three sips and then I was done with it and that's all I ever wanted. They got rid of it because nobody wanted to pay $5 or whatever it was for the tiny size. But again, I loved it because all I wanted was a taste of something and then get rid of it. I love things like that. I love a very small amount of food, a uh, very small, tiny, little miniature perfume. I love tiny makeup. <laughs> the makeup specifically has to relate to the fact that I have an enormous uh, collection. And if you watch my declutter videos, you know what I'm talking about. I have so many lipsticks. Lipsticks go bad. They just do, they're creams. These lipsticks, I think I'll actually use up. Whereas other lipsticks, I don't. And I feel like I end up throwing them away when they haven't even been half used. Now, that is a very specific, very unique set of circumstances that applies to me. I think that's not gonna apply to practically anyone else because I feel like most people are gonna wanna pay for more, not pay for less, which is a very reasonable thought process. So. Remember, you're gonna pay $50 for 0.03 ounces or $56 for Chanel, which is twice as, more than twice as much. The Charlotte Tilbury, I can't quite figure out because it says it's more, way more, but it doesn't seem like that, but it's cheaper. Any lipstick basically you buy, I feel like is gonna be less money per ounce than these. Like I said, I really like these. I will use these, the formula is phenomenally good, but so is the Rouge Allure Lustre, to be honest. I like this formula a little bit more. It is very silky smooth and really feels nice on my lips, but there's lots of lipsticks that feel nice on my lips. But I love a thin lipstick. I love a slim lipstick. And a stiletto lipstick, I love even more. I love the way this looks. This is based on looks alone. This is nothing to do with the reasonableness of this statement. So I just wanna make it very clear. The reasonable part of me says, this is ridiculous. It's $50 for practically nothing. But the side of my brain that's just about aesthetics and artistic simplicity loves this. I love the way it looks. I love the stiletto nature of it. I love how thin it is. I love the colors. They're vibrant. They feel silky smooth. I like the way they feel on my lips. I like the way they look. So yeah, I will probably buy, not all the other remaining colors because there was a couple that I really didn't like for me but I will buy the 155 because I feel like that color I think would really work on me. Favorite shade, that's a tough one because I actually like a lot of these shades. I love 100. I love 150 open back. It's very light and shimmery. It's almost like luminescent. Iconic Nude is also really beautiful. 154 first look is stunning. I would say if you're looking for something really very light and not a cream, then I would go with 100 or 154 would be my favorites. They're tough to decide between the two of them. Probably 100, but it's tough for me to decide. And then if you're looking for something more light and like luminescent, I'd say it's open back, it's 150. But again, I just wanna make this really clear. i say it for the 90th time. These are incredibly expensive for what they are, but I happen to love them. It's This is one where reason just goes out the window. There are things in life where you just love them for what, for whatever reason you love them. And it's not a reasonable statement, but it is the way it is. The formula is really good. It is really creamy. It is very silky. It does feel really good on the lips. All those things are true. It is emollient. It is a silky texture. I like the fact that it's so thin that I don't have to worry about going outside my lips at all. I really like that in a lipstick. I don't have mini bags, so I don't have to worry about this being too long. <laughs> That's where we are, guys. Maybe it's because I'm sick. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just spent the last, I had several days off. If those of you have seen Michelle's video in Vegas, I got to spend a day with Michelle, which was, and I'll get into it in another video, absolutely amazing. I got to spend a couple days with my really good friends, which was also amazing, and then came back to being sick and having so much work that was <laughs> due because I took five days off. I don't know, maybe I've become delusional. But yeah, I just think these are fun. I really like them. I'm not going to tell you that they're worth buying though, because that would be untrue. <laughs> For $50, you can buy lots of other things, but I just happen to love them. I, I just have to be honest about what I love. 
Six of these though, at $50 a pop, you do the math. It's a lot of money and taxes. Again, not good use of my money maybe, but I still really like them and I think they're fun. I think they're fun to wear. The other thing I will mention is that these do bleed. Now, they don't bleed terribly, but they bleed. And it's because they're so silky smooth and they're not, and they're light, so, so they bleed into the lips. And that is something that I noticed. So I would wear with these with a liner, or I can use them by themselves and use a lighter shade, but like the red, it does bleed. With the Chanel, this, I'm gonna put it next to these, the Chanel is creamier. The Chanel is not as luminescent, especially as these. It's a creamier formula. So if you're somebody who has a lot of lines around your lips and you don't like that, and you don't like having any bleeding whatsoever, and you don't like a lip liner, I would definitely go with the Chanel. That's just, that's a given. So that's the only, other than the ridiculousness of the price for what you get, that's the other con. These are very thin. Um, I don't really mind the bleeding because a lot of the products I use do that because they're so lightweight and silky and almost like a, like an oil, you know what I mean? That kind of feel. So I'm pretty used to that and I'm okay with that because I like that formula. But if you want something that's more akin to a cream lipstick, something that has more weight to it, I'd go with the, I'd go with the Chanel and the Chanel is a better price for what you get. I would love to hear if you're picking these up. I would love to hear your thoughts on how ridiculous this is. I would love to hear any of your thoughts, good and bad. Always be respectful though, because we do that here. We do that here on the channel. But yeah, and I have a lot more videos coming, guys. I have a lot of new stuff. I'm definitely gonna do a haul video. I'm gonna talk about my Vegas trip, all those things. But I am in work. It's not hell, I like my job. It's just, it is what it is. You take a couple days off and yeah, and I'm sick. I just took a whole lot of medicine to try to do this video and I think I'm just gonna need a lot of sleep. I promise you that's all coming as soon as I can get to it. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.